Okay, so put away your calculators, your paper and pencil, and let's see if you can solve this basic math problem all in your head. All right, so we are talking about uh, mental math, and here is the problem. So 25% of 4 over 6 plus 50% of 1 over 3. All right, so the challenge here is to figure this out without using anything other than our brain. Now, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. And if you're not ready to see the answer, well, there is no time limit here. You can certainly pause the video. But uh, when you do have an answer, put that into the comment section. So let's take a look at the problem again. So we have a percentage of a fraction. So 25% of 4 6 plus 50% of 1 third. All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct solution is one third. Now, if you're able to do this without using anything other than your brain, well, you're definitely going to get a happy face and an A plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I got enough going on in my brain. I certainly don't want to do math all the way up there, you know, just uh, using my brain alone. I prefer, you know, paper and pencil. Well, that is the way you want to do math, but we just never know when we don't have any paper or pencil around or no calculators or cell phone. And, you know, we're trying to just come up with a quick, fast uh, calculation. Now, you're not going to be able to solve every problem using mental math, but uh, I think if you understand basic math concepts, this should be pretty reasonable in terms of getting an answer or getting the correct answer in your brain. Now, uh, two quick thoughts before I get into how I would solve this in my head. So the first uh, thing here is make sure you can actually solve this problem, even if you need to get a piece of paper and pencil, right? So we're talking about basic math, and this is important stuff. Now, the second thing is I'm going to show you the way I would solve this uh, problem. And uh, if you solved it using a different approach, that's perfectly fine. As long as you were able to do this in your brain, you know, that's what counts. All right, so let's go ahead and see how I would solve this in my brain. Again, we have 25% of 4 over 6 plus 50% of 1 third. Let's go ahead and get started right now. Okay, so before we get into how to solve this problem using mental math, let's just take a look at uh, some ways that uh, people may approach this uh, problem if they had a calculator. All right, so we're trying to find the percent of a number. Now, this number is a fraction, and we want to add this to the percent of this number. So 25% of this fraction, well, the first thing that we need to do is change this uh, percent into a decimal, right? So we're going to move the decimal point over two places to the left, so we would have uh, 0.25, and then we are going to multiply that by 4 over 6. So in our calculator, we go 4 divided by 6, and then we're going to add that to 50% as a decimal, which we're going to move the decimal point over two places to the left. So that's 0 0.50, and we're going to multiply by 1 divided by 3. All right, so when you do, or once you do all this math in your calculator, you're going to get the decimal point 3 repeating, which of course is the same thing as a fraction one third. Now, not many people uh, can do this work in their brain, right? I'm not saying uh, there aren't uh, uh, people out there that can actually do these calculations, but uh, this is way more difficult in terms of mental math. This is not the right approach or the best approach in my humble opinion. All right, there's a far better way to do this problem. So let's go back to our percentage. Now, 25% of this fraction. So when we are finding the percent of a number, more often than not, we change uh, the percent to a decimal, so 0.25, right? So this is typically what uh, most people do. And we move the decimal point over two places to the left. But uh, really what's going on when you change a percent into a decimal is you are uh, really dividing by 100. So the result of dividing by 100 is moving the decimal point over two places to the left. But uh, we can have this fraction right here as well. So 0.25 is the same thing as the fraction 25 over 100. And of course, we can reduce this down to the fraction 1 over 4. All right, so we're going to want to work with simple fractions. So 25% is the same thing as 1 
fourth. All right, so 50% is the same thing as 50 over 100 or the fraction one half. Okay, so this is the way that I would solve this uh, problem. And I think this is the approach that uh, most people took. So instead of looking at these percentages as just, you know, percents, think of them as fractions. All right, so 25% we'll think of as the fraction one fourth and we're multiplying it uh, by four over six. All right, so this is like step one. Matter of fact, let's just focus on this part of the problem first, all right? So we'll get this number, we'll kind of store this in our brain, and then we'll work on this. Okay, so one fourth times four over six. So how do you multiply fractions? Well, you multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So one times four is four, and four times six is 24. Well, you don't want to do this uh, problem in this manner because we can easily just cross cancel these fours. So one four, one fourth, excuse me, times four over six. If we just cross cancel these fours, this entire thing is going to end up being one over six. All right, so this right here, 25% of four over six is one over six, all right, or one six. All right, so if we can kind of store that into our brain, let's figure out what this is right here. All right, so 50% of one third, again, 50% is the same thing as the fraction one half, right? So this is one half times one third. So we can see here, we're going to end up uh, with one six as well, right? So this is a, a multiplication problem a fraction. So one times one is one, two times three is six. So this is also one six. All right, so one six plus one six. Now we kind of really focus in, you know, in our brain. All right, this is one six. This is one six. Let's add them together. So one six plus one six. Anytime you are adding or subtracting fractions, got to make sure the denominators are the same. All right, so all we have to do here is add the numerator. So one plus one is going to be, of course, two. So our final answer is two over six. Now, uh, you know, in our brain, we're trying to just kind of think to ourselves, all right, two over six, well, two can go into six three times. So this reduces down to one third. All right, so this is the way that I would solve this problem using mental math. Okay, so I think uh, a big takeaway here, at least in terms of percentage, is uh, most uh, people change their percent into decimals, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. So in other words, 25% uh, is the same thing as a decimal 0.25. Anytime you are uh, taking the percent of a number and you have your calculator, typically this is what you're going to do. But uh, if you don't have your calculator, uh, more often than not, it's much easier uh, to work with fractions. So remember, the definition of percent is uh, dividing a number by 100. So 25%, again, is the same thing as the fraction 25 over 100, and we can kind of reduce this down to one fourth. All right, so if you solved this problem using a different approach, but you used mental math, well, that is fantastic. Now, if you take a look at all my work here, this is maybe what's going on in my brain, right? So I'm like doing one little step at a time, but you know, all these little tiny micro thoughts kind of add up, you know, into the final solution, right? So everyone's brain works a little bit uh, different, but uh, the main idea here is you have to understand the basic math principles or, you know, you're just not going to be able to solve this problem. So uh, I think another takeaway here is if you uh, can't do this using mental math, well, as long as you can do this using uh, paper and pencil or your calculator, especially paper and pencil, well, that's what counts. But uh, you're not going to get better with, uh, with excuse me, mental math problems unless you practice. And that's why I love to make these little videos. All right, so hopefully you had fun with this. And if you want to practice more mental math problems, I have a ton uh, more on my YouTube channel. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. 
Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.